Hey everyone, so I'm here with my daughter. She does not want to be on camera, but today is Saturday, tomorrow's Mother's Day. I'm glad I checked my email because I had gotten a coupon from Bath & Body Works for a free single wick candle. So we're gonna run in, find one that I like, and um, see what else they got. So we'll bring you along with us if we can, if it's not too crowded in there. But yeah, so we're gonna go do that and we'll see you in just a little bit. All right, so we're looking at candles, but how am I ever supposed to make up my mind? There's so many selections to choose from. Like, there's such a wide variety. Like, how do you choose? But, um, y'all, I love coming here. I have to sniff every single thing, <laughs> every single thing. And there's a lot of people in here. So we made it to checkout, but the checkout line, it just, it took forever because it was a really big checkout line. Anyways... We just made it out and heading to the car. Now I'll give you guys a haul later on in this video. Hey everyone, so we are here at Target. We are waiting for my friend to get here. She's gonna meet us here and we're gonna go down the street to the movies. I don't know if we're gonna see the movie today for like a matinee or tonight. Be quiet, please. But we are going to go inside at Target, browse around while we wait on her and probably get us a drink for the movie theater um, just to like sneak in our purse type of thing. Yeah, so we will go do that and we'll see you very soon. Oh, y'all, my favorite place to be, Target. <laughs> I love shopping at Target, but I wanted to come here to mostly find one of my drinks and I found it. I'll show you guys in a haul when we get done later. But right now we're now at Hollywood Theaters. Uh, we made it there very quickly. Uh, my friend, she was already there waiting for us, but we are here to see the book club. So excited. I love seeing a good movie, and it was a good movie. We have our snacks that we snuck in, of course, and yeah, we're just waiting for the movie to start. Um, this movie theater, we barely ever go to, but it's not an upgraded version like the one we have by us, where they had the recliner seats, so... Eh, too bad. We just won't go back to that one. <laughs> We're kind of spoiled like that. We like our recliner seats in the movie theater, but now we are here to eat. Okay, so we're here at La Corretta. This is one of my favorite Mexican restaurants to go to. They have all sorts of good stuff here on the menu. I just, I can't make up my mind. I want a little bit of everything, but I went ahead and ordered the fish tacos. I was craving that. That's one of my favorite things to get is the fish tacos. And they are so delicious. Look at them how delicious they look. And it comes with some kind of soup. Really good. It was everything was really good. My daughter's food was really good too. You got the chili poblano and you got what is that? Enchiladas? Oh, and a taco. Oh. I want yours, B. Okay, so it is now the next day. I just don't know if I properly did a Target haul after we went to Target. My daughter, she did get a shirt and uh, she came home and she cut it up to, into like a crop t-shirt, which I'm kind of upset about. It was like a $20 t-shirt and she cut it all up to be a belly shirt. But anyways, all I got from Target was some drinks. I have never tried this before, the Poppy, but I always see this on other YouTubers' videos. So, um... They got the raspberry rosé, raspberry rose, I don't know how you want to say it, cherry limeade. I'm excited to try these because these are prebiotic sodas. And, you know, other YouTubers say they're good, so I can't wait to try them. You know, I've been influenced to try them, so I'm going to try them. And this is the strawberry lemon. So I wanted to do a quick haul on these. I can put them in the fridge and try one tomorrow for the first time. And of course, I got Alani. I love Alani, but I have never tried the kiwi guava flavor. Is this a new flavor? It probably is a new flavor. So I've never seen this anywhere before, and I can't wait to try this for my energy drink tomorrow. So yeah, that was what I personally got from Target was just some drinks. Okay, so I just want to quickly show you guys what I got from Bath & Body Works. This is the free candle I got. This is the One Wick, and this is You're the Best, and it smells like Japanese cherry blossom. Y'all, it smells so, so good. Uh, this is the fragrance notes right here at the bottom, if you can see it. Japanese cherry blossom, Asian pear, fresh mimosa, petals, white jasmine, blushing sandalwood with natural essential oils. It smells so good. I'm so glad I opened my email that day for a free candle. I'm so glad. I love it when I catch stuff like this. Then they had the sale, $13 for the three wick. So this one I bought. This is the Palo Santo Vanilla with Palo Santo, Woody Musk, and Tonka Bean. Um, let's see. Yeah, Palo Santo, Woody Musk, and Tonka Bean. 
it smells so good. So I really do highly recommend these two. And look at the print on the side of this candle. It looks 3D. How cool is that? I love, I love the design on this one. But anyways, I highly recommend these two. They smell wonderful. All right, it is now the next day. We're here at Rouse's Supermarket just to get a few things. It is Mother's Day, so I'm going to do a quick haul. The first thing I got right here is this really good, delicious cookie cake. Y'all, I have not had a cookie cake in forever, so that was really good. I got that for Mother's Day. A tomato. I got a tomato for sandwiches, and then I got this Wendy's Chili um, <laughs> I love some Wendy's chili, believe it or not. So I seen this in the market and I'm like, we got to get it just to try it. You know, I mean, I know what, what Wendy's chili tastes is like, but I just wonder, is the canned chili any better? Is it not good? Like, I don't know. I just wanted to try it. I thought it'd be fun. I got some lettuce, some prime. My daughter picked that flavor out. Um, what is this? Jalapenos. Oh, gelato. This is already gone by the time I'm doing this voiceover. That gelato is gone. That gelato is really good. Um, I want to try a different flavor next time. Some tomatoes. My daughter picked those out. Let's see. I got ham for sandwiches with that tomato I bought. Um, chips. My daughter, she picked those out. Waffles for breakfast. I love the thick and fluffy ones. Pizza, these are really good. Those are gone too by the time I'm doing this voiceover. <laughs> I need to get more of those tiny little pizzas. Hot Pockets, and then some Red Baron um, French bread pizza. A watermelon my daughter picked out, and a little thing of noodles back there. But yeah, that's my haul. And tonight for Mother's Day, we're gonna go eat at Texas Roadhouse, so I can't wait for that. That's one of my favorite places. All right, it's now later that night. We're here at Texas Roadhouse. Y'all, I have a serious problem every time I go out to eat. I can just never make up my mind of what I want because I want a little bit of everything, you know? I'm just a very indecisive person. That's strawberry lemonade I ordered, though. It was really, really good. I love the strawberry lemonades and their Texas Roadhouse rolls. Talk about delicious. Ooh, onion rings. You know, I gotta love the blooming onion. And then I ordered a huge steak. Look at those grill lines, how pretty that is. And the um, loaded sweet potato. I love loaded sweet potatoes. This one did not have enough of the um, syrup. They put some kind of syrup on it. And they just did not add enough of the syrup. But it was still good. Um, this is like everybody's food I'm trying to show, or some of their food, um, down at the end of the table where I'm at. But yeah, we had a really nice meal for Mother's Day. And yeah, it was really good. All right, so as you can see, it is the next day. I am here on the side of the interstate in New Orleans. Um, somebody I know, their vehicle broke down, so I'm here to pick them up while they wait on a tow truck. Um, yeah, so the tow truck's going to come get them, but sometimes you can't ride in the tow truck, you know, when you get your vehicle towed. So they were kind of iffy about that, so I'm just here to give them a ride back home and, you know, to follow the tow truck home once it arrives. But yeah, this is on the side of the interstate in New Orleans. Very dangerous. So much traffic. And y'all always driving out on the interstate in New Orleans. There's so many bad drivers that like to pretend they're race cars and weave in and out of traffic. It's very, very dangerous. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but yeah, we was able to get back home safe and sound. So I'm so glad about that. <laughs> yeah, look how scary this is. I'm looking in my rear view mirror with all the oncoming traffic that's getting on the interstate and off that bridge back there. Very dangerous place to be. So I have all of my ingredients right here. I'm gonna cook this in the crock pot, but I do have to brown this on the stove before I put it in the crock pot. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture here of what this recipe looks like when it's done. It's called like round steak and gravy. I'm gonna make it just like how the picture with mashed potatoes and corn and doll. It's gonna be so good. It reminds me of something my mom used to cook, but um, I guess a little different. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare all my ingredients and I'll get right back to you. All right, so really quick, I'm going to just brown my meat. That's all I'm going to do. I have my onions and garlic in here. I'm sauteing. Then I'm going to go ahead and add this once it gets a little bit more translucent into my crock pot. I have my onion gravy packet mixed with water already in here. Y'all, this is going to be so good. So I have this in here, and then I'm going to set my timer on the stove for four hours. You can either do eight hours on slow or four hours on high and i always like to do this on high to get it done a little bit quicker and yeah and then we're gonna have a delicious dinner tonight 
All right, so my four hours has been up. Y'all, look how good this looks, and it smells so good. So I made some nice, good buttery mashed potatoes. I'm just going to load this up with some of the steak and the gravy, and then I'm going to put some corn on the side. And, yeah, that's our dinner for tonight. And, y'all, let me just say, this was a 100 out of 10. It was so, so good. I will definitely be making this a lot more often. All right, so that does it for this video. I'm so glad you stuck with me this far. If you made it this far, um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would truly appreciate it. And thanks for watching, you guys. Take care.